hello hello everybody today we are doing another inbox review and we will be looking at the chieftain mark 11 british main battle tank from tacom in 135th scale uh, just to give you guys a quick look around the box a couple of uh, color plates here nothing fancy here as per usual for tacom we got our sprue layout on this side with some uh, some advertisements on here and same hole on the other side. Open her up. It's actually quite full. It's expecting to be it's quite full. There's some construction corrections on here already, so I'm gonna take those out first to show you guys. And fancy Tacoma instructions. So what do we have here? Remove this part. That's all it is. Remove this part off the top of the turret. Okay, you can do that. Not very many add-ons. There's usually, usually at least a set of tow cables and so on and so forth in these. But I don't see it, so it might be plastic tow cables, which may be good or might be bad. Poly caps. And let's take a look at the decals here. I'm not going to open them, but let's make sure. Yeah, they do seem to be in register. And they look pretty nice. I mean, it's a Tacoma decal, so it's not like, not like we're going to get shit decals, you know. Photo etch, again. Uh, thin, a little flimsy, and this is a little warped, which I don't like right away. Maybe the fact that it's, you know, in a little the bag like that I don't like the fact that this is already a little warped because it is warped right on the engine or right on the grills here it's gonna be a pain in the butt to straighten out but it is what it is because of the way it's packaged obviously but nothing really I can do about that so all right here is what is usually the color guide It is, we've got the, what is this, 5th Inniskillen Dragoons Guards, British Army, Training Units, Suffield, Canada. We've got the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards. Oh, check the bag with me. Bag's like, take me with you. Unknown Unit, B-A-T-U-S, A Squadron, 1st RTR, Tafric Barracks. Hildensheim, Germany, 1992. And 5th Inniskillen Dragoons Guard, British Army, training uni unit Sa Suffield, Canada. Oh, that's the same one, though. Same one? Same one, different markings, okay. I think this is going to be my go-to, but we'll see. Why not if I build this? So let's do a quick run through the instructions. Again, nothing... Nothing out of the ordinary as far as Tacoma goes. Start out with the wheels, suspension parts, lower hull, upper hull, uh, single single length tracks, which I like. The only other piece you got on here is a little rubber piece, rubber pad. I like the single length tracks, so I am happy about that. Uh, again, more of the bottom hull coming together on here. Nothing. Nothing fancy, not, nothing out of the ordinary. Continuing on to the side skirts. Some of the details on here now on the top of the hull. Now we go on to the turret. I like this tank because it's actually quite simple. It's a two-piece to barrel, which again, why? Stop it. <laughs> um, but whatever. Whatever. I guess make do with it. MG on here, some a few of the turret baskets, the little that there is, the MG. Some storage boxes here, and we are done. Simple enough tank, and here's some more color in here with some more ads from Tacoma. That's simple enough. This is again probably like a long weekend build. Uh, it doesn't look very complex as far as the number of parts goes at least. But I'm sure the detail lives up to its name, so let's take a look at that as soon as I get this bag reopened. The instructions back in it. 
I do like these resealable bags. I know I mention this every time. I do a Tacoma review, but I do like these resealable bags. Not when they get stuck and when they're problematic, but, 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 but. Uh, not so when it's stuck and gets problematic, but I do like them that I can seal them back up. You don't have to worry about like anything falling out when I put them back in the box and so on and so forth. So let's go to town on some of the larger sprues first, because those will be the first ones to go back in the box. So suspension pieces and wheels. Let's start there. Uh, decent quality. Again, all of this tires are that's not tire, that can't be tires, these are tires. Again, fairly geez, they're fairly blank looking, but not bad. Get to the same sprue on here. And it's the same sprue from the back. Not bad. Here's your drive wheels, here's your idler, I believe. I mean, what you would expect, you know? So, what you would expect from Tacoma for this quality and so on and so forth. This is the second largest sprue, so let's take this one out. Looks like storage bins. There's actually really nice hinge detail on this, which looks superb. That's very nice detail. Uh, more suspension parts here. I'm assuming these are more storage bins, so on and so forth, and just whole parts on here. Again, very nice quality. Tow hooks look great. And so overall, nice looking, nice looking detail up there. Next up, we've got the barrel, the two-piece barrel. Again, the detail on here is wonderful. But what is not is the fact that it's a two-piece barrel. Wow, that is a really nice detail on here, actually. I do like the quite a bit. Some sweet detail on here. Uh, tow cable, there's small tow cables here, side skirts here. Uh, rear glaces here. Yeah, it's a nice looking barrel, actually. I do like the Again, I'd like to have it in one piece, but yeah, I guess I can't have my cake and eat it too, so turret details, uh, part of the driver's hatch, or part of the commander's hatch, and I'm assuming this is top of this or, or something or other. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Here's the uh, storage racks, or portion of it at least. This looks like the muzzle brake here. Uh, not sure what this is. Here's the MG, which looks nice. Just be careful when you're taking these barrels off of here so it doesn't snap because it does look quite fragile. Grenade launchers and just other various details here. Moving right along, more storage vents for the turret. This is a portion, a larger portion of it. There's a portion of the turret. Yeah, this just looks like storage bins and more of the same. Moving on to saving the most interesting bits for last. So moving on to whatever this is just looks like more random odds and sods, as some would say. Tracks. I'm gonna take one of these out just to see what these look like. I'm sure they're superb, but who knows? Yeah, they are very nicely detailed. The fact that the guide horns are in there already, that's awesome. And again, the only thing you're putting in here is the uh, rubber piece here, but take a look at this. It is actually really nicely detailed. I like that. Okay. So there's our tracks. And these are our rubber bits. Rubber pads for the tracks. Clear parts. I mean, they look they look 
shiny that look like clear parts are supposed to, so oh, this is a really big clear part right here. Okay. And now let's move into the goodies. So the turret. Both top and bottom pieces are included here. And it even comes with a fabric uh, gun protector cloth thing here, so. Or not fabric, rubber rather, sorry. So that's really cool. Okay. And now let's see. If I take this flash off real quick and attach this to how it attaches. Yeah, there's really, I was gonna like check the fit on it real quick for you guys, but there's really no way of doing that without, hmm, maybe, oh, kinda, no, oh well, we tried. Here's the turret, or the upper portion of the turret at least, there's not much for, um, for texture on here, although these weld marks here are really cool, or what I assume to be weld marks at least, those look pretty good. But there's not much for texture, it's actually quite smooth. And then there's another weld line here, very nicely detailed. Okay, and bottom of the turret, I mean, there's really nothing, nothing to see here. Move along, move along. But not last, but not least, the hull. Let's get this guy opened up. And the bottom hull, again, nicely detailed. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, nothing here to write home about. That's for sure. But not bad looking either. A very nice. Very smooth, very nice. I mean, it looks like all the proper details are there at least. So, and now the upper hull, which is just this. This here is a marvel in modern, modern casting technology. All these details, I don't know if you guys can, how well you can see this on the camera, but they are so incredibly crisp. Uh, yeah, these are just wonderful, wonderful details on here. And there's even the... Oh, can, I, can I focus? There you go. There's even the, uh, the writing on here. FHL War A FV46... Yeah, whatever. Whatever this means. I mean, that's just brilliant. And the back is no worse off. Like, the fact that all this is cast on is just superb. I mean, just absolutely superb. In one piece. It doesn't get better than that. That's a quick, fun build just because of this. And the fit is pretty darn good. And this is without me cleaning it, without me doing anything. So the fit is pretty dosh. Dosh, again. Gosh darn cute. Good. Um, yeah, not bad. So, again, marvels of a modern casting technology, I guess. But that's, uh, yeah, this is superb as far as the detail on it goes. And I'm sure the fit on it is just as good. That's in that. Back up. And here we have it. The Tacoma 135th scale Chieftain Mark 11 British Main Battle Tank. I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and until next time.